What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Giving you some more of these NBA playoff reactions and a little bit of my food for thought. Um, you know what? I was like, I already know where I'm going to go. So we're going to start off here with the Knicks and the Heat. And as I sort of thought that this game is going to basically be somewhat of a, you know, head-to-head -head even match, you know, now the Knicks don't have uh, Randall. The Heat don't have Hero. It almost got bad where I I was didn't even know. I was like, with Butler gonna Butler gonna make it? If he rolled his ankle, I was like, please no, cause I was, cause what? Like if they don't have if they don't have Butler, I I was like I wouldn't pick them against the Knicks. But if they got Butler, I like I feel like it's pretty even for right now. Um. Uh, for shout out to the Heat for fighting back, um, because they were down for like most of the game, but that's sort of like Heat basketball at this point, where they're pretty much always behind but never out of it. And I was like, you know, Heat basketball, Jimmy basketball, all of them. Um, uh, shout out to you, Kyle Lowry, for having probably your like one of your best games, you know, um, uh, in the play playing playoff that whole thing. Uh, I was like playing with like a good amount of not not just buckets, but I but I was like I think you know underrated of just like his pace and his ball movement that doesn't get uh used as much. Also, Bam, um, I was like chipping in and being able to offset some of their like play with their big men a lot because really is is really kind of just Bam. Uh, on uh, I mean I, I was like I guess you could count Love in there, but I was like him and Love play together a lot too, so. I mean, play, well, a decent amount. So, you know, in a different way than, like, how they're, like, topping and Mitchell and Harstein, and then once Randall come back, that'll be a little bit of a different dynamic. Um, but uh, it, it really goes to, like, the timely shots by them. You know, like, uh, Struess, uh having, like, you know, like, uh, decent shots in there. Duncan Robinson didn't make any buckets, but the threat of him making buckets – plays in especially with a guy like Spo where it's like he's gonna leave him in for a minute to at least you know get like the defense gotta stick with him and uh you know I was like and he was able to use a little bit of that in order to they use that to like manipulate like uh some of the defense and their movements. Um I was like Mitchell Robinson still being a beast on the boards. Uh you did get a really good uh uh, scoring output from uh, Barrett and Brunson, which I feel like you're going to have to against a stingy defensive Heat team, because uh, the Heat, uh, not the Heat, but I was like the, the Knicks will sort of let like a little bit of a uh, um, scoring go by, but it's this is going to be a little bit hard to come by for the rest of the group. Um, you know, with uh, how they're not necessarily scored in that way. Um, I I was like the confidence that Martin and but mainly Gabe Vincent has um, of just shooting up buckets regardless of where it's like, it's like it, at this point with Vincent, you sort of feel like it's always going to go in. Um, and he has, I was like, I don't, I was like, I guess everybody's sort of doing this, but the, the way they sort of shooting and trying to get the foul in the process, it seemed like there's like the refs haven't been calling that much, but they're still sort of doing that whole, uh, not leg kicking, but, Making sure that they're that that you're in their bubble, you know, kind of thing. Um, uh, but oh, also Obi Toppin for really developing into a three point shooter. Not something that I would have thought if you would have told me that a while back. Just because I mean, he came in, he was like an older player and came in, and all you knew he can always like dunk and yeah, he can be a highlight, but. It's not that he just he can make standalone threes, but uh, like a lot of this game, he was having a lot of like off the dribble, uh, like like not necessarily running up, but well, but going up, but a lot of like but like threes like right up to the and then just like shooting it like straight up in there. I would have thought that maybe he developed into like a, you know, like I like PJ Tucker could just sit in the corner shoot three type of dude, but no, he actually could shoot threes. And if he's gonna be playing that well, while they don't have Randall uh, for a while. Nick's had a better shot than I thought they would have without Barrett or uh, uh, Brunson going off to try to match uh, Jimmy Butler and his ability to go off. So, but but it was it was a pretty close game, and I feel like 
so far, I was like, you know, Carol not going to come back anytime soon. I think they said Randall won't come back until game three. Um, I guess so. I was like, we'll see how that ankle holds up. So, at this rate, it's I was like, it's still too early to call just because I feel like that ankle um, sway things in a way that I'm like, if Butler's able to go, and I was like, he'll go. But if, if he's able to play at a high, at, at a pretty decent percentage, I still lean to the Heat compared to, uh, I was like, even though I know Brunson can go off and match that. Um, but it's a pretty, it's it's weird. It's like it's re- it seems like it's really gonna come down to the supporting cast of who is going to be that third or fourth person. You know, like with the Knicks today, it was Toppin and um. Dang, I was like, it escapes me right now. But, uh, and on the Knicks, it was Vincent. And uh, I was like, and, you know, you know, on that side. And Lowry. So, uh, but this would be a fun series. But the dust is finally settled. And the Warriors are going to face the Lakers. But while that's in the future, here today, Good job, Knicks. Uh, y'all took it to. I was like, oh, this game went. This series went to seven. Uh, I feel like that's where most people thought it would, because they were sort of like mirror images of each other. Um, but this was really, um, as it has has been the whole series, just Stephen Curry, Steve, Stephen, Stoff, uh, uh, Mr. Curry himself. Uh, with 50 up, uh, and it was it was his whole package in this game. It wasn't just him and how he's able to shoot three, but his ball handling was incredible of, like, really getting through them. Like, like he was really keeping the dribble alive in a lot of times where people probably would have fumbled the ball and created a turnover. Um, I was like, he's a maestro with getting, like, layups. Like, he just he just has, like, a talent of just, like, lofting the ball in the air and then just going in or over defenders. Um, also, his amount of, like, his, like, his, uh, his defense was also uh, a lot better. Like, you know, it went on pop in your head about uh, Curry playing defense. But, uh, but he, he, he. Like not he do he does more than try and in a lot of scenarios uh like like he's smart about his his defense and um and also just just they it, it's just crazy because it's just like they just kept him so much on the board and it's like really been loony also by himself and it this this it seemed this series seemed more of like star player Curry. And everybody else being such more role players than you maybe you think of, like Wiggins. I was like he can score and he put in, uh, I believe like like sixteen or something like that. But his defense and that's what he's been doing more so in this series is just being hyper aggressive around like blocking shots and 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 uh, taking out dudes or whatever and like like locking them up. Um, I was like Draymond has also been in that way of like it's like he seemed like more honed in of of pace and also being aggressive with his shot while also being able to get to the open man and it's like and like a lot of his paths have been like like lasers uh, in a way where it's like no hesitation type of thing like not even like you know they sometimes will set it up but it's a lot of times like his read is like that and he got it um, Clay I was like Clay gave you a good. Uh, uh, offensive input today. Um, I was like right around what like Clay nor like Clay gives you, um, but the Kings had the Kings had a really really good chance here. Uh, they tried out the, they tried out the lineup and they had Davis and I was like uh, we finally got some bonus like an actually good game. It just really too late. I felt like he should have like there's a lot of the lot of stuff how he should have did early in the series like how he was sort of playing where it was like like. In this game, he was taking a lot more mid-range shots where it's like he was left open. It's kind of like you, you've been open like that for a while because Looney ain't really coming out on you. Green's not really coming out on you. You have these shots available. Um, you can you can shoot the three. Like, you know, he ain't like some world-renowned three-point shooter, but you can shoot the three. And I feel like that's 
that's sort of what held them up in a lot of spots because that would have gave them another element to where they wouldn't pack the paint waiting for Monk and uh, Fox, who I was like, you, you can't say anything about Fox. And I was like, that hand, no problem. He get, He's still getting buckets. He's still in this game. Um um, uh, I was like, Murray, I was like, Murray gave you a good bit. Uh, I thought Herder was going to get going. Like, at first I seen, like, I was like, I was like, at first time I was like, okay, maybe he had his rhythm from that game. Nah. And stuff like that sort of changed it as well, too, because you, because I'm, I feel like in this game, you, I was like, in this game, but also like in the series, after a while, you started seeing the difference of the inexperienced versus a young crew, which also shout out to Kerr for playing a lot of, the, I was like, uh, Kaminga didn't really get any more run after like the first couple games, but Moody has been playing. I was like playing quite a bit and giving them, uh, uh, like, you know, like I was like, he ain't been like going like crazy scoring or like that, but he's been giving them good minutes. And I felt like that, like that mixture with him and DiVincenzo against this young Kings team has also helped. Also don't help that you play, but you also don't help you playing the Golden State Warriors that they do a lot of running themselves. So you're not going to really tire them out by your, uh, your running ability, like how if you they would have matched up against somebody else or something like that, like if, like maybe the Nugget, but the Nugget got some younger players. But you, would, I, I was like that that would probably been a bit, a good matchup too. But anyway, this is all about Curry. That dude was unconscious, and you know so far in these playoffs, I was like it's like you know him, Jimmy Butler. I was like LeBron didn't have like that scoring output, but had. Uh, but you felt him during the whole game, kind of thing. Uh, and that and that's sort of that's sort of what helps with some of these games is when they score that much, but you feel it. Like it's almost like, hey, no, we could do, like, like throw, drop something else. It don't matter. Cause that that's how it was with Curry. It it, it don't matter. Like it, they they try and but hey, the Kings. I was like, you know what? They I was like they. They gave it all till they till they really can't. Um, I was like, there was a good showing out party for them of like Monk, who who now is like better regarded in, uh, of like how people thought of him, you know, uh, rebranding his image, you know, Lakers help, but you know what I'm saying, and Fox of showing that you know he's a top guard and showing and I was like the can't that the Kings ain't just going to be the King. Hopefully anymore, cause they did sort of do this one time with uh, where they just where they was like building. At least they at least they made it to the playoffs. You know they never they never really did that with uh, Cousins' team uh, when he had the Kings. Anyway, so that's it for me. Um, if you like this video, I appreciate it. Thanks. If not, hey, maybe there's next time or other videos. Anyway, until then. Peace. I'm out.